Hello everyone, this is Ross here for XGR and today we're unboxing the Sound Blaster Pro Gaming Katana. This is a sound bar for your gaming systems, PC, Xbox, PlayStation. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, let's open the box and check it out. Right, so we've got it all out of the box now, um, come well packaged. Uh, it also comes with this subwoofer, got a load of instructions, a load of cables and even a little remote control here. So. First off, let's just get a bit of a closer look at the soundbar itself. Comes with a nice brushed gunmetal grey effect. Uh, the Sound Blaster logo, a load of buttons there. We'll go through the instruction manual in a bit and just check out all those. Yeah, is that that focus? There we go. Um, all the connectors on the back there. We we'll just get a bit of a uh, bit of a closer look at this subwoofer for you as well. Camera to focus on that. Quite hefty that. Right, so taking a quick look over the instructions, uh, it shows us all the things we can plug into it. You can even plug your headphones directly into it if you fancy uh, keeping the noise down a little bit. Um, at night time, all the functions for the remote control, uh, the Bluetooth pairing that you can do as well. Uh, USB flash drives you can plug into it. Dolby Digital Decoding, all the audio lights and the presets, and uh, all the settings that you can do as well. Uh, as we've got in our previous videos for Sound Blaster products that we've unboxed, nice little welcome card. Uh, so if you've not seen those, I'll just get this to focus and you can pause and read that for yourself. There you go. Right now we'll just go through each package thing one by one, uh, just have a look what they all are, all these wires. So the very first thing we've got is the remote control. Very small, fits into the palm of your hand. So what we've got here, we've got mute, bass, select the buttons, display, LEDs, uh, Bluetooth, so this is your source buttons, USB, auxiliary, optical, which is what we'll use for the Xbox one. We will rig that up in a little bit, and computer. Uh, so that's our power cable. Um, take all the protective stuff off. That's a UK power cable there, which plugs directly into this um, power supply pack. And obviously that end plugs straight into the back of the unit. You also get a uh, USB cable, USB to micro. We also get an alternative power supply as well. I believe that's a US socket there. A shorter micro USB connector and another power supply lead. I actually think this one is the US one, the other one I think is a Euro one. Um, so yeah, loads of different power connectors, so if you like to travel around the world, you, you're well away with this thing. Um, so yeah, it's one last little look at it, and then we'll uh, head off and set it up with an Xbox One, and uh, see how we get on with it. Right, so we've got it in the uh, living room now, on the top of the fire, on the mantel. Um, I did come across a problem and uh, that was that I have this SPDIF connector um, so that it won't fit from the back of the Xbox One to the back of the sound card. It needs to be the Toslink connector on both ends, that's this one. Um, so yeah, I've ended up having to use a 3.5mm audio cable from the TVs out into the auxiliary input on the back of this. Just quickly show you that. Um, so that is the grey cable just there, pull that forward a bit, there we go, um, so yeah that sort of solved that issue, um, it's a shame one wasn't included, it did, doesn't say anything about Xbox One on the box so that's probably why, let's wait for this to focus again, anyway we'll get it turned on uh, using the remote control that was supplied, wait for the unit to power up. So we've got a bit of Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 on the go, just so we can get some random audio, so we can get some shooting and firing what's going off on the title screen. Um, I don't know what the audio quality is going to come like across the phone to you guys, but it does sound pretty decent. So we've got audio plus and minus, um, we can turn the bass up and down as well, it goes to 4 that way. 
and goes to a minus as well so you can turn the bass right down if you got neighbors that like to complain because it is quite bassy um, got LEDs as well so it comes with some built-in ones these can be programmed on PC as well you can get the sound blaster connect software on PC it doesn't cost you anything just go to the website and download it you can program the LEDs um, I'm not sure if they're stored and then if you hook them up to another device they stay stored or if it has to just be on the PC only but it comes with some pre-programmed ones anyway so you can check those out there um, what else have we got? We've also got different uh, equaliser modes again these can be programmed on the uh, Sound Blaster Connect software so yeah just another quick look at the remote then so we've also got a focus there we go so you've also got all your input source buttons there as well um, your display button just turns on the little screen at the front there so you can see it says auxiliary and we can just press that again to turn that off right so just before we go then um, just going to read off some some stats off the box so the main unit has a total power output of 45 watts RMS that's 90 watts peak power um, it's got two mid-range drivers at 2.5 inches each and two tweeter drivers at 1.34 inches each uh, the subwoofer is uh, 30 watts RMS that's 60 watts peak power and it is 5.25 inches in diameter Right, so overall then that gives you 150 watts peak power um, it does feature integrated sound card DAC it also has Dolby Audio um, at 5.1 playback that's only when you're using uh, the USB or optical if you hook it up to a PC you can get 7.1 virtual surround as well right, so finally then the price um, it comes in at £279.99 that translates to about uh, $300 um, so that pretty much wraps it up. So this has been an unboxing for the Sound Blaster X Katana I'd th like to thank Creative Labs for sending this over for us to unbox and show you guys what it's all about Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon